Hi everyone, this is a review of uh, an unboxing of my <coughs> Mont Blanc 149 Meister Stuke. Just completed 10 years um, with my employer and they presented a long service award which I chose vouchers and I went this morning to the Mont Blanc boutique and I managed to get myself a 149 so I'm um, really pleased, really good morning actually. Um, so I'll just unbox this quickly, I'll probably do a, a, a different review um, later but I just wanted to record this moment because I'm a geek <laughs> and guess you are that's why you're watching so let's slide this out of the outer box and we are presented here with the service guide book I'm sure there's gonna be lots of marketing material in here and lots of information um, how to ink your pen different types of nibs and all this Mont Blanc goodness which we love there we go Wonderful, and um, oh, it looks like I've opened it upside down. There we go, schoolboy error. So, here we are presented in this really lovely, um, classic box. Um, I'm sure it's not real leather, but um, it's a very nice feel leather all the way around. And it's got this white um, line which just breaks up the color and gives it a really nice, classy look. The Mont Blanc emblem here in the corner. So, we will open it up. There we go. A bit of um, foam in the back of the box to give it, I suppose, a bit of um, keep everything in place when it's um, being moved around. And we've got the goodies in here. I'm just going to lift up the camera just to show you a few bits. Um, so this is the back of the the box, the Mont Blanc um, logo there, and then we've got ink and a pen. They give you. Um, mystery black. I wasn't given any option whether I wanted a different colour ink. Um, that was the only one, but you know, I've got loads of different colour inks, including two which I just picked up and I'll show you these because these are absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is a Caran d'Ache from their Chromatics range and this is idyllic blue. Look how beautiful that is. I mean, that's amazing, isn't it? it? Sits at a really cool angle. It's like having it's, it's it's you know gone of the days when packaging meant nothing. This is practically an inkwell, really gorgeous. Have a look online. That that be that blue is fantastic, and then I've got the Irosazuku, and it is the Sukiyo. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correct or not. Um, again, these are so well um, packaged products. So another beauty. Um, again, great. But this is not a review of ink. It's a review of the Mont Blancs. But um, Thought you might appreciate that as well. So here we are, bring the pen back into view. This is the rose gold. How how nice is that? I mean, most people go for the um, the yellow gold, which is very classic looking and is absolutely stunning. And I've got the um, platinum ball pen, but I saw this and this was only this was the only one I was going to go for. I absolutely love it. It's it's um, shipped in with a medium nib. Bit of a cop out really from the Mont Blanc boutique. They said that they ship all their pens in medium nibs, and then it's up to the user to um, claim the free nib change in um, in the first six weeks. I think it is. It's a nice touch that they do that, but for me, that whole experience should be um, locating and suiting the 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 owner with the nib, and that should be part of the experience when you buy it. So. Mont Blanc, I encourage you to give the customer the chance to try different nibs and. Um, select your own but there we go so it's it is a um, medium nib and i'll just open it up and you can see hopefully we've got rose gold um coloring on the nib as well not filled it up yet so as you can see for the ink window completely clear in there um Nothing new, but all the appointments are rose gold rather than yellow gold. I think this is absolutely classy. Can't wait to use it in a minute. The biggest choice I'm going to have is which ink to put in there. So um, there we go. Um, all the usual Mont Blanc Meister Stuck 149. Interesting fact that I was told in the boutique. Again, don't know if it's the absolute truth, but what they said to me is they refer to just about every other pen now with its name rather than its model number so what I would have called the 146 is obviously called the Le Grand and you've got the Classique um, but they said they dropped the name Diplomat from this and it is just known as the 149 because it's such a well-known almost a brand within a brand so um, 
There we go. I'll just, com I'll just compare it in terms of the size of a few other pens just so you can see the size of this beast. Um, this is a Conway Stewart Winston. Um, probably about the same size, but I think even even this, it's the, the 149 is slightly taller. Yes, it is. It's a lot lighter though. I mean, this is this is heavy. For me, I can you, you know you've got to let the uh, sorry, a pen like this. You've got to let the pen, the weight of the pen, do the work. But it's um, very nice. Um, here is a Visconti Homo Sapiens, and lastly, a Caran d'Ache Lehman Lemon. So there we have it, the Mont Blanc 149. Thank you.